We're here at uh, the Sheffield Wind Project in Sheffield, Vermont, in the Northeast Kingdom. And this project is unique. We've done some innovative things on the environmental side with the goal of trying to reduce our impact as much as possible. So at Sheffield, we built narrow roads compared to a lot of wind projects. You're looking at a 25-foot wide crane path where we had to get an actually narrow track erection crane 25 foot feet wide. When that crane was done, we have started to restore this road. You can see a strip of nine foot grass on your right side. So we brought the road in from 25 feet to 16 feet, again, trying to further reduce our impacts at the project. So this is a sediment basin. The idea behind these sediment basins is any water that's coming off of the construction site that may contain dirt, sediment, it gets treated here. The sediment sinks to the bottom of the pond. The clean water is returned to the environment and it's just a way to keep dirty water from our site from entering the streams here. We've built actually 28 of these around the Sheffield project. What we've agreed to voluntarily with the state is to curtail, turn off turbines during peak bat migration. That's about an eight week period in the, in the late summer and early fall where we know that bats are more susceptible for, uh, for colliding with turbines and leading to mortality. So we have voluntarily agreed to curtail when the wind speeds are at a low point and the temperatures are high that's when bats like to migrate. This is the clearing for turbine 14. You are obviously right in the middle of construction. We're about to raise the rotor. Right now they're on a wind hold, so they can't raise it. And I think the interesting thing here is how small this turbine site is. It's so small, in fact, that the blades need to stick out into the woods, which you can see behind me. And actually the other two blades, which you can't see, are sticking into the woods too. So again, we reduce the impact by reducing the clearing size at this turbine site, and the byproduct of that is that the blades stick in the woods, which is a bit of an inconvenience for the construction guys, but in the long run, it's less impact to this area. We've decided here at Sheffield that we've got a couple stream crossings up at the higher elevations that we wanted to protect the stream and not put any fill in the stream. So we've spanned the stream in two locations. One of those locations is behind me and we built a bridge completely over the stream from the high water mark, basically bank to bank. As an environmentalist working for a wind company um, and as what we consider a leader in the wind industry, we're constantly trying to reduce the impact of our wind projects. We've talked about a bunch of ways we've done that here at the Sheffield Project and we are gonna constantly try to innovate here at First Wind to reduce our impact even more.